It's summertime, but that does not mean that the sports have stopped. We've got the CFL, we got golf, we got tennis, we got CONCACAF, we got everything. Baseball! Yeah, baseball! Yeah. Listen, before the game starts, live and play, or how, how your favorite player will perform, you can look it all up right now at uh, Canada Sportsbook. It's Sports Interaction. Do it right since 1997. The most competitive odds. Sports Interaction makes it uh, easy to deposit, easy to play, and easy to cash out. Join now and see that all that sports betting has to offer. Head to sportsinteraction.com slash sdpn. That's sportsinteraction.com slash sdpn. As always, it's 19 plus. Please play responsibly. Eric Francis mentioned potentially Boston, which I, I almost threw up. Oh. Uh, I'm like, because I'm like, Matthew Kachuk is the perfect Bruin. Oh, no. He's the Him perfect Bruin. and Marchand? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. No, no, they, no, they're no, per- no. He's no, the perfect Bruin. He is. That's like when Yoda took Luke to teach him some stuff. No. No. no, no I know. No, no, it's no, terrible. No, 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 no. Um, but it looks like at this point, I think I think St. Louis is probably the most likely destination, at least from what we're hearing right now. Um, Ottawa. And, and, and I want to talk about... Yeah, Ottawa. I want to talk about how this happened. Because... How do you go from the best line in hockey, a 40-40-40 line, to one guy kind of wants out, okay, definitely wants out, and then the other guy's like, yeah, I'm going to. How does that happen? That's actually... Wait, who was the first guy? Because I thought the first guy... See, I thought that perfectly described Kachuk. He might want to... Okay, he wants out. Well, maybe that's... Maybe I got that wrong now. I think it might be both of them. I think if Gaudreau stays, it's a different conversation, maybe. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah, it's way different. It's so much easier to commit to a team when you know what you're going to be doing forever. And Matthew Kachuk knew that forever he was going to be on a line with Johnny Gaudreau and Elias Lindholm. Now he doesn't know that. Like, there's no guarantees even with Lindholm because they're going to have to change stuff up yep. so much. You want to go to a team that's going to contend. Uh, it's possible Calgary got better. I'm going to go with... Probably not. Mm-hmm. Not everyone can be the situation with the Islanders and Tavares, mm-hmm. nah, which, I guess, yeah. which I think we all need to remember. That was surprising. Remember the time where that happened and we were surprised? They went to the second round that year, I think, and then the Leafs went to the first, they lost in the first round, yeah. and everybody dunked on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Which, uh, totally, I get. Yeah. Deservedly like, so. You know what's not a great plan? Surprise. No, you sh- there should be some intent your success because not everyone can sort of surprise into i think lou lamorello was surprised yes valtteri mm-hmm. filpola that did it all right let it ride <laughs> yeah and somehow it worked but um it's uh it's looking like a bad summer for the calgary Flames. disastrous i would say yeah i mean it's it's one of those summers that everything comes to a head like they knew this was uh, a, a lot was going to happen a lot of decisions had to be made but it's rare that everything goes bad all at once. And the way they lost to Edmonton, they lose Gaudreau for nothing, and now it looks like they're in a bind with Matthew Kachuk. Oof. Can I read the tweet from the Flames that kicked everything off Monday night? Please do. Yeah, so for context, if you've been in summer mode and you haven't noticed, uh, on, on Monday night, the Calgary Flames tweeted, the Flames have filed for club-elected salary arbitration with Matthew Kachuk. This provides us the opportunity to continue to work with his representatives towards a contractual resolution while removing the possibility of an offer sheet. And that's very important because if somebody decided to just come in and offer sheet Matthew Kachuk and then the Flames had to obviously match it because they wouldn't just let him go, they wouldn't be able to trade him. So the Flames on Monday made the initial uh, move so that they can free up trading Matthew Kachuk because of the negotiations with his contract right now aren't going well. He doesn't want to be there. So by doing this, they have the ability now to trade him. And that, uh, yeah, if somebody just came in and did the opposite, they wouldn't be able to do that. That's right. So now everything's there and he's on the move. And Adam's referencing an Eric Francis radio appearance in St. Louis where he said he expects Matthew Kachuk to potentially be a blue by Friday. Mm -hmm. When did this accelerate? Well, yeah, and then we, he, went, we he went on Tim and Friends uh, yesterday and followed that up. Oh, he did. Uh, and he Sorry, said, yesterday was my anniversary. I didn't. So, know. I wasn't okay. paying attention. <laughs> Sorry, and Tim <laughs> and Friends. Yeah. And there's a there's a clip there I want to play for play after all this uh, that what Eric Francis said there. I want to play for you guys. But um, yeah, he said he expects this to be wrapped up with. Are we allowed to play it on the show? Are we allowed to play the clip? Probably on the show? not. No. Oh, okay. We can play the audio. Can we? 
I don't know. You tell me. We'll pull, we can play the audio and then we can just uh, not run it in the YouTube version. Okay. There okay. We'll play it in the in the audio version. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All You'll right. just have to imagine. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll just I'll just say what he said. Yeah. There but I go. want you guys to hear what he said in his context. Anyways. Can you do he a double impression? Down. No. Eric Francis. Uh, even worse. Okay. I have a feeling that that um, <laughs> the uh, I have a feeling that it it's going to be a. Um, Enormous disappointment for the Flames. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> I have a feeling like that, that Flames sucks. fans are not going to like the return on this. The Flames are over a barrel. And, uh, and you know, anybody with a brain can realize that, oh, if the, si- if the trading for a team has the opportunity to sign them to a long-term deal, they'll get more. But at the end of the day, it's one of those where you kind of... <laughs> um, you can make that argument one way or the other if you're the team that's trading for him. You can say, well, there's no guarantees. Right. And so uh, I have to say that, like, be prepared, Calgary fans. This may not be the one-for-one one deal. Like, yes, are they going to look for a top six forward? Sure. But are, are is a top six forward Makachuk light? Or is a talk like Alex Kerfoot's a top six forward? On the Leafs. Depending on, yeah. Yeah. Well, Nick you know Ritchie. I mean? Yeah. Nick, Nick Ritchie was, was on, on the, the first top line. damn line. Yeah. Right. Like, what, what kind on of. On two different teams last year. So, when people say top six <laughs> forward, I'm like, I feel like we should go down to top four. Like, one of the best players on your team. Ooh, you know, like that's that. that's what you should be looking for. A top six guy could be Michael Bunting. You know, I, I don't know what that is. And I love Michael Bunting, <laughs> but I just don't. I. That doesn't. That doesn't make the Flames necessarily better. Now, are they going to get a prospects pick? Sure. Um, but man, I, 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 I was feeling for Jake Markstrom too. I was thinking like, is this what he signed up for? Uh, I wasn't. <laughs> that dude sucked. What do you mean? In, in the, the playoffs. playoffs. Well, in the playoffs, he was great in the regular season. But what I'm thinking so is what? like, yeah. when he signed, fart. when yeah. he, <laughs> so what? Steve's fart. right. Steve's a hundred percent right. Dude, so what fart? Yeah. That dude yeah. sucks. Uh, ooh, ew, gross, bad. No, dude. <laughs> Dude, they should have murdered the Oilers. They really should have. And he was he was bad. He was taxed with being better than Mike Smith, not even playing well, and he wasn't. Ew. It's not a good situation. Four more years of that then? All right. Sounds good. Yikes. It's bad. Yikes. Well, um, I don't think Math- Matthew could chuck up. Sorry, Lee fans. I don't think he's coming. Uh, it'd be great. Like, no. listen, I know him and Matthews are friends from the from the program. Of course, you know, Eric Francis, it always, by the way, has to be about the Leafs. Uh, Eric Francis made it about the Leafs yet again and said, hey, Toronto fans, watch out. This could be Austin Matthews in a year as well. Um, okay. And, and you know, yeah. fine. Uh, I think there's some different things at play here. Um, you got to remember, too, that we're coming off of two years of lockdowns. And uh, uh, for better or for worse, the countries. Uh, involved in the NHL handled them differently, uh, to say the least. One had a lockdown. The other was locked down for the good chunk of probably two years. And you couldn't get across the border to see your family. And um, the Flames have a ridiculously old arena that was supposed to be, too. you know, that arena was supposed to be, they were supposed to start construction on that thing. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, somebody was... Elected mayor, I believe, and then the, the, either the team or the city reneged. I don't even really care. It doesn't matter. Get it together, you guys. You need a new arena. It's as old as we are. Steve and I are the same age as the Saddle Dome. Uh, it's, are we really? Yeah, oh, so the Saddle Dome is in 88. Well, it's actually probably earlier than that because it was built for the 88 Olympics. You can't have major concerts in Calgary. So you have bands like Taylor Swift and then ACDC coming through and playing two nights at Edmonton because their sound equipment literally doesn't fit under the roof in the Saddle Dome. That's a true story. Wow. And, you know, like there's a whole bunch of things about the Flames that are great. And the ownership situation is, I mean, listen, I don't love the way they handle things, but I mean, they're solid as a rock. They need to get a new arena done. And that arena compared to all the other arenas is 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 outdated sounds every like other should, arena is more like outdated. they should get it done then right instead well, and, of and, and, out of multiple and deals 100 percent. and now here's here's get the thing done. right this is what happens when you don't do that stuff when you nickel and dime the city when you ask for public money uh public money can be canceled when, and when you intentionally thing. try to get the mayor uh thrown out in multiple elections and then you lose you start to lose star players now listen is that the main reason no but i think i i don't I, I think if you're a Canadian and you might not like hearing this, the way that um, the, that Canadians handled COVID 
was far different and a lot of people disagreed with it. Yeah. And a lot of people, and, and they're entitled to do so. You know, I think we did the best that we could given our system. But um, I think a lot of people really did not like it and did not want to be here anymore. And I think it's, it's COVID has actually, I think, made that invisible line we call a border. Literally, it's just we decided to put it there. I think that's made that stand out more than it has in decades. Well, and also, where what do I want to do with the rest of my life? Yeah. Definitely not this. No, I want to play at home and I want to get this figured out, that figured out, that figured out. I hmm, I don't want this to come across as an insult, but I, maybe winning is less of a priority and it's more about happiness. No, I'm not saying like a guy like Johnny Gaudreau is never going to win in Columbus, but I mean, re remember the original conversation when he signed there is what, what, they're not ready to contend though at all. This isn't a match, except it is a match. It's a team who wanted a good player versus a player who wanted to be on that side of the country. And I, That's absolutely a match. I also think, Steve, we're, we're used to the whole like, well, he's a great player. Doesn't he want to sign with a great team instantly? And I think that's part of that comes from the NBA of these guys coming together and, and you know, uh, having Making super teams. Super teams yeah. 100%. Maybe he's the start of whatever the super team is. I, I don't know. In Columbus? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> I just don't think that's how it works in hockey. I don't, you know, you well, don't get three guys not. together, you know, build the team. And I think we forget a lot of the time that professional athletes can get the right to choose when they're free agents to play wherever they want to play. And it doesn't have to be about winning or whatever history they have with the team they're drafted by. He can just go play for an American team because that's where he wants to play. And he made that very clear to management uh, that he's going to be UFA next year. And he wants to not play in this city. He wants to play south of the border. And they have to make the decision now. And, yeah. and the, we have to allow these athletes, just like how you have a job and you want to work in a city. If you want to work in Toronto or you want to work in Vancouver, you can go choose and pick in your city. They have those rights, too. And it does, they don't have any obligation to the team that they're currently with if they're a free agent. They don't owe you just because you bought their jersey. Yeah. I, unfortunately, that's the reality. They don't owe the fans well, and just because they cheered for, He's been in that organization for 12 years. Or is it, is no, it 12 years? No, he's 24. <laughs> that wouldn't no, make Goudreau. sense. No, uh, Goudreau. Oh, Goudreau. I thought you meant like, that. When was, he drafted? when was he drafted? When was he drafted? When was he drafted? 2011? I can't remember. Yeah, I mean... A and, long time. A long time. Now, uh, you, could, or you could argue that maybe... Um, uh, uh, maybe uh, Matt Kachuk is jumping the queue here. I think he's a year or two away from free agency. That's his whole draft class, though. One year. And, and yeah, they're all doing it. It is the one year. Mm -hmm. um, I, I also wondered, like, um, is there is there anything that 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 can be done to turn this around? Because what usually happens in 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 hockey is something like this happens. You hear rumors of the player going to the player is going to get traded, and then they spin it around it's that's ah, no big deal we solved it here's an eight-year contract well one of the guys i was looking at on my phone uh who could be traded for him was vladimir tarasenko mm -hmm. now he's got a no trade clause so i doubt that's going to happen but uh he had a great season for st louis and it's kind of hilarious because he had a great season after asking for a trade and then i think it was a recent episode of 32 thoughts they bring up tarasenko and i'm like oh this is the part where they talk about how the blues fix that relationship and it's like no he still wants to be traded he wants out yeah but like i mean what a what a great situation like we we talked about what pierre-luc dubois could potentially do and just totally shut it down again like he did in columbus which he did he shut it down uh tarasenko didn't do that what's matthew kachuk gonna do i don't mm -hmm. know if he knows how to not try i well he, he knows how to not sign well, yeah, I think they move him. I think Francis is right. I don't know if it's within a week, but I don't think they sit around and, and try and figure this out and make him play. By the way, I believe Goudreau was on Chicklets and he said that he had a deal. In, or they were working on a deal with the Devils. Yeah. 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 So if you were worried about him going to a good team, he wasn't. He wasn't. That would have made them much better, though. Yeah. It would have made them much better. They still suck. I mean, Columbus is... I mean, no, on. but they have centers for the future. Adam... <laughs> Get with the program! Get with the Devil's program! <laughs> Did you guys see?